My name is Eric Cabrera. I'm the founder of the Kwetu Film Institute. And Kwetu is a Swahili word that means home. Rwanda is described through my films through pain, through the resilience, through the recovery, and through its beauty and its grace, you know, of, of the people. Rwanda was among many of the other desperate, not advanced, uh, poor, uh, and just despicable situation and desperate situation that many people know about Africa. And uh, if you look at today Rwanda and the aspiration of Rwanda, Rwanda has got literally grand visions. And these visions are actually translated into the day-to-day -day mechanism of what we do. So it is that transition, which is a tough transition, to get like, you know, how do we look at Africa today in comparison to yesterday and the Africa of tomorrow. The Institute has been around for about 10 years and uh, the historical background to it is actually to tell a story out of Rwanda. Telling a story of a people, of a community, of a place, of a history, it's an identity thing. So it's really, really important for the native people to be in a position of telling their stories. However tragic it may be, or however you know, uh, positive it may be. Many people knew what happened in Rwanda during the genocide because of films. If it wasn't because of films, it wasn't really that easy like, to bring the whole world here in Rwanda just to see what happened. But through films, like the way actors acted, the way the story was written, and based to true stories, it also helped people to know what happened in Rwanda. The new development we have with the, with the BMZ has been quite instrumental. As of late, we have had a, a program that has been supported for the last two years into the technical field to make sure that our students actually are you know, trained by you know, German technicians and German videographers and people who do media design. So these are the kind of things that we appreciate you know, highly from BMZ and it, it can only continue and Rwanda is such a very good platform to start a program like that that can inspire other countries around the world and around Africa especially. I think what my, one of my wish lists would be, it's not a wish list, it's happening already, is the Rwanda that continues to be peaceful, is the Rwanda that actually can contribute into the peace mechanism and in sort of an understanding of leadership you know, to its people and to the region and to the, to the continent. And it's literally its focus on creating uh, a model society. 